Okay, so uh, another method that we are talking about, which is very important for synthesizing to produce the ceramic material, would be through this so called retail cell solid state reaction or SSR. That's kind of a foundation for many of the ceramics, what, what they are doing. Okay, the feature solid state reaction, simple and uh, most uh, widely used. Simple and most widely used. Okay, and uh, it's the foundation to yourself for many other synthesis methods. The solid state reaction is the foundation for many other more fancy uh, chemical routes. Okay, so gel, precipitation, whatever. Decomposition is a type of solid state reaction. Decomposition from one material decompose, I got a product and maybe something else. Okay, some ceramic powder are produced by simple decomposition reaction, and I often it produce what solid, of course, as well as it would give off gases. Okay, and I give one example: heating magnesium carbonate. Repeat to yourself: magnesium carbonate for chemistry by reviewing chemistry to produce magnesium oxide at high temperature decomposition okay so magnesium carbonate we got uh, magnesium oxide but uh, is this reaction balanced no you have to add excellent carbon dioxide right now you have to be balanced mass charge everything make sense Simple decomposition, that's just one example, can generate very fine nanopowder depending on the reaction condition. Make sense? If I'm doing this decomposition at uh, 2000 degrees C, will I get nano? Quite often difficult because at that high temperature, stuff easily glue together or bond together, right? But if I do it controlling in a certain fashion, I can get nanopowder. Depend on processing condition the morphology depends on process condition okay the more common one is reaction between solids which is solid state reaction okay and the reaction between different solids to form another solid phase an example for pure ssr reaction between lanthanum oxide la2o3 and the chromium oxide, Cr2O3, to produce lanthanum chromate, lanthanum chromium oxide, oxygen 3. So I'm writing this. Is this correct? Clearly, it's not correct, right? So, how to balance? Okay, on the right side, I have to add a factor of two. Now, I have two lanthanum on the left side, two lanthanum on the right side, two chromium on the left side, two chromium on the right side. How many oxygen on the left side? Three plus three, six. On the right side, two times three, six. Clear? Okay. Another example, a solid state reaction between Lithium 2 titanium oxygen 3. There are so many lithium titanium oxygen products. Let's just call it lithium titanium oxide. And uh, titanium monoxide. Titanium oxygen 1 to 1 ratio to produce this guy. Actually, when I was in DuPont, I was asked to do, 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 to do this. Lithium titanium oxygen 2. I write this reaction. Is this correct? No, still not balanced, right? How do I balance? I still got to multiply two on the right side. Now, left side, how many lithium? Two. Right side, how many lithium? Two. Left side, how many titanium? One plus one, two. Right side, two times one, two. Left side, how many oxygen? Three plus one, four. Right side, how many oxygen? Two times two, four. Balanced, right? That's your middle school chemistry, I unfortunately.
And we have to review, make sure you cannot be afraid of these things when you do synthesis. Okay. In a certain way, you have to like this. Simple stuff. Okay. And uh, some other solid state reaction, but now involving reduction. Involving some types of redox reaction. Okay. And the reaction involving reduction by carbon or boron or some other phases that reduce one of the phases. I give you one example to produce the silicon carbide, SIC, called silicon carbide. That's the abrasive material people use in sandpaper, sanding view, a lot of other stuff. Of course, people start to use it for semiconducting purpose and for high space shuttle, like high performance fiber. Like GE jet engine that's starting to use that uh, silicon carbide fiber. Very high end, okay? And uh, produce silicon carbide as well as what? CO, that's the side product, byproduct, from reaction between silicon dioxide or silica plus carbon. So I write it like this. Is this correct? Not exact because it's not balanced. So how do we balance this guy? Well, quite often you can do this in different ways, but quite often I can't. I have one silicon, I already have one silicon, so I don't have to worry about silicon. But I have two oxygen here. On the right side, how many oxygen? One, which means I have to add a factor of two ahead of here, right? Then thinking how many carbon on the right side? I have one plus two. So here I have to put a factor of three. Make sense? Simple stuff. But this is how we balance simple chemical reaction. Okay.